Hey guys, Learn to Game here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the G Engine 6.4 to mod Borderlands the pre sequel and allow every enemy to drop legendary weapons, shields, um, class mods, and grenade mods. So, first thing you want to do is you want to uh, download the G Engine and you want to download the other file that will be with the G Engine in the description below and you want to put both of those files into a separate file I mean you want to put them all like both of them into the same file so that they're, they're together and then that is step one and you've completed step one so after you're done with that you want to open up Borderlands and you want to keep the tab open so as you see here I have it open in the bottom hand corner of my screen so when it's open like that, you just leave it and you don't touch it for right now. You want to be in the character selection menu. You do not want to be signed into a game or onto a certain character. You want to be in the main menu where you select your character. And you want to leave that there. After that, you want to open up the cheat engine. And you want to hit the top left hand corner, the little yellow file. When you do that, you should see the other file that came with the cheat engine. And you want to open that up. When you open that up, you will see a debug window appear. Leave that be, that is fine. And you will see an enable button. If the enable button does not work when you click it, simply close out of the game, close out of the engine, and reboot the game first, and then the engine afterwards. And then if you click enable and it works, then you're good to go. So you're going to see a bunch of subcategories, but we're not going to mess with any of that. All we're going to touch is the script. So you're going to open up the script, and then you're going to open up Lua Script Enable. When you're done with that, you're going to open up Loot Sploder Advanced and Loot Sploder More Loot Drops. So when those are both checked off, you're going to check off Standard Enemies, and then you're going to check off Guns and Gear. Now this is where it gets a little bit more difficult, and you have to keep track of what you're doing. So at this point, you're going to want to change the Odd Multiplier to 1000. You're going to want to change the um, amount drop to 2. And then you're going to want, you want to check off what you want to drop. So class mods, grenade mods, shields, and weapons all work. However, artifacts do not. So you're going to check off weapons, shield, grenade mods, and class mod. Like That's what I want to personally see drop in game off of any enemy. So that's what I'm going to check off. Now, I'm going to start off with the weapons first. In the odd multiplier, you want to change that to 1,000. And you want to change the amount dropped to 2. And then you want to select the white loot. And you want to change the odd multiplier to 0. You want to do the same with the green, blue, and purple loot. You want to change the odd multiplier all to 0. What this does is it basically does not allow any white green, blue, or purple um, weapon to drop. It'll only allow things with a positive or anything bigger than a 0% chance to drop. So those are all at 0, so those will never drop. Now, you see E-Tech loot and you see Legendary slash Pearl loot. Currently, Legendary slash Pearl loot does not work. The Legendaries are actually E-Tech loot. So you want to open up the E-Tech loot, change the um, multiplier to 1,000, and you want to change the amount to 2. When you're done with that, go over to the legendary slash pro loot just to be safe, and then change the multiplier to 0, which it already is, so that's good. Now when you're done with that, you're going to scroll on down to the shields, and you're going to do the same exact thing. So you're going to change the odd multiplier to 1,000, the amount drop to 2, and then you're going to go to white loot, change it to 0, green loot, oops, alright, change, change it to 0, blue loot, make it 0, and then purple loot, you can make it 0. And then for legendary loot, this is the actual legendary loot. So you're going to change the odd multipliers to 1,000 and the amount drop to 2. And when you're done with that, you can go down to uh, grenades, the odd multiplier to 1,000, and make the amount drop 2. Uh, okay, there we go. And now we go to white loot. 
odd multiplier to zero. Green, odd multiplier to zero. Blue, odd multiplier to zero. Purple, odd multiplier, oops. Yeah, all right, there we go, okay. Odd multiplier to zero. In legendary, odd multiplier to a thousand. Loot dropped, two, or amount dropped, two. Now, same thing for class mods. I changed that to a thousand. Change this to two. Put the white loot to zero. Green loot to zero. Blue loot to zero. And finally, purple loot to zero. Okay. Now when you're done with that, go to legendary loot, change the auto multiplier to a thousand, and the amount drop to two. Okay, so when you're done with that, you're good, you're done, that's all you have to do. Now you want to leave this file open. Do not close it. All you're going to do is simply leave it there, just simply click on your Borderlands 3 and continue playing and this is when you can select your character and begin playing So I'm gonna quickly go hop over to Borderlands 3 turn on my fraps and continue this video All right, so I'll be right back in a second All right guys, so I am back and I have a character loaded up and ready to go um, This is one of the characters from my game save that I put up before um, level 50 with um, usable level 127 weapons and level 127 items so uh, quickly all right, cool. so I already have um, stuff equipped now I'm gonna go run over to any enemy that I feel like killing and see what happens I'm gonna turn up a mic until I get there Okay, so I see an enemy on my map. Go ahead and kill it and see what happens. Okay, so as you see, I killed the enemy and now there are uh, legendary weapons all over the floor. So go ahead and kill whatever you feel like killing and yeah. Now, you will occasionally get a green, well, not. Okay, that's an Oz kit. So. For the Oz kit, you'll occasionally get some of those. We didn't mess with that, and because they don't work for a legendary Oz kit, so leave them be. Just ignore the loot that drops. But some shields will occasionally drop purple. Not sure why. However, they may just be a legendary shield with a purple skin to it, which is why they appear as purple. But in reality, they're legendary skins or legendary shields. So um, yep, this will work on any enemy that you want to yes. kill, as awesome. long as the uh the engine is open you can go kill anything and pick up all your loot so uh thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe because i'm gonna be doing more tutorials more game saves and more everything so uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all later bye